welcome to another kettlebell beginner workout. This workout is part of the world kettlebell video number three. There's two others, you should check them out. It's uh, a lot of people coming together from all across the world to do these workouts. You can be part of it too. I'm going to explain the workout. You can do it on your own or join the project. It'd be good to see you join it and unite. All right, the workout, I'm just gonna read it from my computer, is six hang lifts. You're working with one kettlebell. So, a hang lift is squat style, not touching the ground, back up. That's why it's called a hang. So, one kettlebell, two arms. After that, you go into three presses with one arm, then three on your other arm. Now we like to see these presses nice and strict, so without using the legs, we want to use the shoulders, so everything nice and locked out. Then we go into four swings, double arm, hip hinge style, whereas the hang lift is squat style which means your knees are coming forward the hip hinge is your hips back and the knees above the ankles i wrote a whole book about this you should check it out master the basic kettlebell swing after that four front squats so we're gonna after the swings we're gonna clean the bell up with a thumb through the horn grip, open palm grip with thumbs through the horn. I will go through all this now. So I'm using a 16 kilo. You don't need to go heavy. If you're actually using this in a workout, you'll probably be doing eight to 10 rounds. So choose something that you can work with while maintaining form. So first, you start with a deadlift to neutral stance. So that's the deadlift here, and I'm using a squat to lift it up. Now I'm in neutral stance. Now I'm going to start the six hang lifts. Knees coming forward, elbows are in the, uh, inside of my thighs, my shoulders are high, hips low, looking ahead. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, because this is a beginner's workout, we're going to clean with double arm. We're going to put the belt down, rotate it a little bit. Now, one hand comes under and the other over. That's how we're going to clean the bell up to our left side. Squat. And my left is first because I want it to end up in my left. Squat, look ahead. I start pulling with the legs. The other hand helps along. Now it's here. My hand is opened up here. 45 degrees. Not like this. Never press like this. Do not want to see this in the video. I can't use it if you do. Plus you get a hundred burpees. Over the heel of your palm, right here. Straight wrist, start from the front, everything tight. Press straight up, straight down. Not to the side, we're not doing a side press. At the front. That's three. We're going to switch to the other hand. So I'm bringing the other hand over. I'm going to drop it and absorb the impact with a squat and pull it back up on the other side. Looks like this. As I did that, over here, I pulled this hand out, inserted this hand. Other side, one. Two, 
tree. We're going to put the white down with both hands again. We're going to put it away from us. We don't want to put it down between our feet because next we're going to swing. To start the swing, we want the bell away from us. Otherwise, you can't pull it through your legs. If it's right here, there's no pulling. You have to push it through. You want to pull and push it through, not just push it through. So it's about one foot or less away from my toes. But it's different for everybody. What you basically want is a good hip pinch, and then you want to be reaching out for it. If you find that you have to reach forward, it's too far away. Don't do it. Now I'm going to start my four kettlebell swings. Push the hips back, knees above the ankles. I grab the handle, create a bit of tension. Then I start my first pull and swing. One, two, three, four, and clean. I clean it with the upswing, keeping it close to my body. Then I let it float here, and I catch it with the palms. Thumb to the horn, right here. Four squats, nice and tight to the body. Elbows in, four squats. Knees out, look ahead. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna drop the weight. Let's run through this again. We start with a deadlift to neutral stance. That's just how you pick it up. That's your transition to your next six reps which is a hang lift, double arm, squat style. From there, you transition into a double arm, dead clean. So you put it down on the ground. Now, dead clean is straight from the ground, straight up, so you do want it between your feet. Squat, pull it up, let it float up, insert. Then you do three presses on your left side. Then double arm switch, drop it, take the impact and pull up, other hand. Three on this side. Then you put it back down with two arms, two hands, but away from you, slightly away. Don't overreach, just a good position so that you can start your kettlebell swing. So that first rep that you do is a dead swing because it's dead on the ground and you're swinging it. From there, it's four kettlebell swings, normal hip hinge style. After your fourth kettlebell swing, you know that you're gonna do your clean. So you keep those elbows close to your body. You're not gonna finish that swing and then pull in. You know you've done your fourth swing, keep the elbow in, Bell close to your body, you pull it up a bit, you let it float, and you insert it. Now you can actually keep a hold of the horn on, and the handle if you do this and slide it to the front. You can do that. If you feel comfortable, you just let it float, let go, and grab the bell with the uh, handle facing slightly down on an angle. Okay, so that's the whole sequence. That's the one I'd like you to film and submit. Do the front and do the side. If you feel like some of the exercises are too difficult, only do one exercise or do a few, it doesn't matter. Whatever you can submit and be part of, it's all good. If you got questions, post them below. I will answer or in the groups. Uh, we got lots of groups, uh, caveman training, has the Kettlebell Training Group, the Kettlebell Enthusiast Group, the United Kettlebell Kingdom Group, uh, Nothing But Training Matters, uh, Kettlebell Swing, and many more. So there are groups for anything that you're looking for. Join them, uh, be part of the community, 
It's all about positivity. Uh, I will kick your ass out if you're not positive and help grow the group. So seriously, join those groups. Um, it's a lot of positivity. We're there to help each other grow. You can also advertise your business if you're a trainer. That's not a problem at all. But what I don't want is you're only advertising your trainer. So you're only taking and you're not giving. You need to give first. You need to pay a price and then you can take. That's how it works. Okay? So I will let anybody in the group and be part of it and enjoy the benefits from it. But you have to participate. You have to provide. You have to provide to the community. You can't be like just take, take, take. Uh, I will throw people out. Uh, don't take it personal. It's just Facebook. Um, I'd like to keep the whole community positive. So if I feel that you're negative all the time, or for example, you've been a member for four months and I haven't seen any posts from you. We can't check actually, like the other day, I had one guy who was negative. Okay, if you've been uh, in the group for four months and you've been participating, you, you can't have a bad day, great. But if you start after four months with negativity, then it's pretty quickly for me, bye. And again, don't take it personal. Uh, we might meet in real life and be good friends. It's just Facebook. Uh, I run the groups uh, very tight and I have to because it's a good community and I'm very proud of it and so should you. So let's be part of the community and the video. Make sure you subscribe to Caveman Training on YouTube, uh, also on Instagram as Real Caveman Training and on Facebook. See you later guys. Beginner version. One bell, two hands. First, deadlift. Then, hang lift. Don't touch the ground. Take it dead to the ground. You turn it. Now you're going to clean it with two hands. Left under first, right over. Press. Make sure that bell returns into racking every time. Don't do half presses where you're landing on your shoulder. Full racking. Other hand over. Drop it, hang clean, double arm. Drop it down to the ground. Turn the handle, start your swings. One dead swing, four, three, two, one. Down to the ground. Now you're going to do your open hand clean. Thumb through the horn and catch the bell with your palms. Front squat, 